Like, what would make you put your life on the line for Charleston White? Now, I see in this uh, live that you did, you say you want to help him. Why would you want to help him? Oh, you going to try to run, how to run the game? You get banned on everything that you now. do. You have problems everywhere you go. Your spirit, yo, I want you to understand your spirit. Your spirit is not good. And I'm okay, TK Cooking, we understand that. I've been saying that. But why did you, out of all people, go get Charleston White? Ah, wait, motherfucker. Through this whole live, you didn't tell us why you went and got Charleston White. You just told us how much you like Charleston White. So, is Charleston White telling the truth this time about somebody that he got into it with? I don't know, man. Charleston White get into it with everybody, man. Everybody. From say cheese on down. Whether say cheese won't admit it or not. Charleston White then got into it with you, say cheese. You know I'm not lying. I roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Guess what? There's nobody that dealt with Charleston White besides his main man, Dewberry. That he got into, he got into it with everybody except Dewberry. Now, him and Dewberry was in jail together. They did time together. Now, normally when you do time with a nigga, you don't come home to that nigga if you ain't know him before you went in. And he didn't know Dewberry before he went in. But when he got out, he made sure he got up with Dewberry. But he always talking about guys in jail, being gay and messing around with somebody. No, you is the prime example of a nigga that's probably be that gay shit because you went to jail and came out and made best friends with the nigga you was in jail with. What was y'all doing in that jail? Come on, you can tell us. You just told us everything else. Charleston White, what was you and Dewberry doing in jail together where you loved him so much and he loved you so much y'all just came out best of friends? What was y'all doing? You could tell us. You could tell us, Charleston. Please tell us. But T.K. Kirkland, I'm going to tell you like I told DJ you, Mama Duck, and every other motherfucker that fuck with Charleston White. You got what you deserve, motherfucker. You don't go fucking with no nigga like Charleston White that already then showed the world uh, what he think and how he feel and disrespect the dead people and everything. And if you think it's cool to mess with somebody like that, then you get what you deserve. It's your boy, Abdullah Four Real, number one cap pillar. Hey, T.K. Kirkland. I got to give it to him. And I used to rock with T.K. Kirkland. I swear, man, I used to rock with you. But when you stopped, when you went and got this dude, I said, wow. I'm from the block, so you know I got to get to him.